Man, it is good to be back making videos. Took a short little hiatus and uh, what do you know? It's my birthday. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh god, I'm one year closer to death. And you know, to commemorate my birthday, I'd like to share the love, you know? Share, share, do a little shout out video, you know, for all my fans. <laughs> but don't you only have like 15 subscribers? <laughs> So to commemorate my birthday, I thought it'd be nice to shout out some YouTubers that I know in a Discord server that I'm a part of. I wasn't able to get to everybody because there's a lot of YouTubers. And I also wanted to shout out two YouTubers that aren't in the Discord server exactly. So forgive me if I'm missed you. Sorry. Now we're going to be starting off one of the bigger YouTubers in the YouTube family, Neil Designs. Usually specializes in Sonic content, Kingdom Hearts content, and Dragon Ball Z content, as well as a bunch of other animes. Now, Neo doesn't generally commentate during his gameplay videos, mainly because commentating while playing a game is hard, but he does do live streams here and there. It depends on whether he commentates or not. I usually like the live streams where he commentates because it's fun just having, hearing him chat with the group, talking about stuff. You, you feel like you're a part of the family, you know? He's currently doing a Vanitas mod Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough, and he's currently doing a Critical Mode livestream playthrough, so check him out. Next up is Kaiju God, another YouTuber that also specializes in Sonic and Kingdom Hearts and anime. Not, he doesn't upload as much as most of the other YouTubers that I'm shouting out, but he's one of the most prominent people in the Discord server. He's the most prominent person that you, that you see all over Twitter. And he just seems like an all-around cool dude. He seems super chill. He likes to cool out with people a lot, so you know. Honestly, a lot of these YouTubers are Sonic fans, which is why I like them. Next up, we have Maverick, a YouTuber who's going to take you back to the past, but not play some shitty games that suck ass. That was terrible. Maverick's the type of person that usually specializes in retro games. Now, of course, retro games aren't the only thing that he does. But that is the main focus of his channel, so if you got a hankering for nostalgia, check him out. He's been doing a lot of Game Gear games recently. I I I, I don't even know anybody that has owned a Game Gear, but hey, if you own the Game Gear, why not why not check him out? Next up, we have Zod X750 or Zod X750. I'm sorry if I fucked that. Uh, honestly, his channel banner alone should clue you in on what he's all about. Look at that shit. Shit's beautiful. Next up we got Chris F. B. P. 7-2. Now this dude is also an anime fan. I remember him dropping that sick freestyle of the F-Zero theme a while back. That was sick. I haven't watched too many of his videos since then. I mean because they're Jump Force related and I don't really care that much about Jump Force. But hey. He's pretty cool. If you care about Jump Force, hey, he's playing Jump Force. I know there's still people out there that care about Jump Force. You know who you are. And of course, Jump Force isn't the only video game that he plays. So if you like his commentary, check him out. What more can I say? Next up, we got your boy Storms. Another Sonic YouTuber who also develops a little bit into anime and more gaming. He's currently been doing a variety of anime games lately. He's been doing a lot of chill streams lately. Like, I think a couple hours ago he was doing a Street Fighter V chill stream, so you know. Now, I don't think he generally commentates in his videos either, but hey, if you like seeing any past games that you were playing as your childhood, or you just like Naruto or anime in general, check him out. I should have done a script for this. Next up, we got Zuki the Hedgehog. You can probably guess what his channel is all about. <laughs> but yeah, he's currently doing a Sonic Forces play too. He plays other games too. I remember seeing that Joker uh, gameplay a while back. Next up, we have Alpaca Mac. Another anime YouTuber. Usually plays a variety of anime games. He's, I think he's currently focusing on the... I don't even know how to pronounce that. The, the Naruto Battle Revolution, Class of Ninja Revolution games. Now, I'm not too familiar with any of them. Maybe like 
to who I played at best, but you know, he, he seems to be an extrovert in all of this. In that department, he's also doing a One Justice playthrough. Because people remember that game. People have to remember that game. Anyway. So if you like watching a dude play anime games that aren't as popular as other anime games, like I think the Clash of Ninja games aren't as popular as the Ultimate Ninja games, obviously. Like so many people talk about Storm 4, where's the love for Clash of Ninja, huh? That's a fighting game. <laughs> you know, there are other Ninja Naruto games out there. Broken Mon. Uzumaki Chronicles. The game's hard as the balls, but hey, it's a Naruto game. You know? Whatever. Next up we have Riaru Kurai. Another YouTuber that's into anime. I think specifically Dragon Ball Z and gaming. Mostly gaming. He's, play he's done a, a couple playthroughs here and there. He's played Kingdom Hearts. He's played Devil May Cry. I think he's played Sekiro a couple times. Uh, he's more into... Like, he he's into some stuff. I don't like, like all the games that he plays. Like, Destiny... Call of Duty, all those, all those types of shooters, but he's very entertaining, and his edits are on point, so check him out if you like a guy that knows how to edit, that knows how to have co comedy, all that stuff. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Lavender Realm. Now, the Lavender Realm doesn't necessarily upload anymore, but I want her to. She's a good friend of mine, she watches almost all of my videos except for Devil May Cry because he doesn't care for that series. But if, if you're into watching some of the videos that are left on her channel, she did speed draws and other stuff. Check her out. She's pretty cool. She's also got a Twitter. I can link her Twitter in the description. She draws amazingly. Like She's getting better and better every day. And I just want to give her this, the same support that she has shown me. So. If you're watching this, I'm shouting you out. <laughs> Go back to making videos. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to do a quick shout out video for all of the people that I generally watch. At least try to watch more. I'm going to... And I also want to give a message to the YouTube family. I want to be more active in that community because half the time I'm just sitting there being like should I should I talk about something I mean what what if it's stupid like I, like my anxiety gets to me sometimes but I'm working on that and I want to be more active in this community no matter what just to talk to more people so expect me to be more active sometimes expect me posting more in the discord chat whatever also that Sonic trailer scared me. I know some people are hyped for it. I mean, hey, it is what it is. People are going to see it. People are going to think it's good, right? But that design, man. That that design. Well, anyway, it's going to it's going to be the end of this video. Just wanted to do a little quick shout out video on my birthday. Wanted to show some love since I'm getting love on my birthday. I also want to thank the people that have been watching my videos, at least consistently, you know. I, I try to make my videos funny, I try to keep them short, because I know not everybody has time to watch a 30 minute video, like come on. But, it is what it is, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.